New images of 3i Atlas confirm it's still erupting. The jets are real, the chemistry is measured, and what the data shows is far more extreme than scientists expected. For weeks astronomers debated whether the dramatic structures seen around 3i Atlas were illusions, processing artifacts, or short-lived outbursts. That debate is now over. The latest observations confirm what many suspected but could not yet prove. 3i Atlas is producing sustained, organized jets of material, and we now have chemical evidence to support it. These confirmations come from coordinated observations, including detailed spectroscopy from the Gemini Observatory. Together they shift the conversation from speculation to measurement, from what might be happening to what is actually happening. Let's start with the jets. Multiple imaging sequences now show clear directional outflows emerging from the region surrounding the nucleus of 3i Atlas. These features persist across time, maintain their structure, and extend millions of kilometers into space. They are not random clouds of dust, they are coherent, repeatable jets. Under normal comet physics, jets form when localized surface regions heat up and release gas. But the scale here is the problem. These jets are too large, too powerful, and in some cases oriented in directions that should be strongly suppressed by solar radiation pressure, especially the sunward facing components. That alone places 3i Atlas among the most active small bodies ever observed. But the Gemini data adds a critical second layer, chemistry. Spectroscopic analysis reveals unmistakable signatures of volatile gases in the coma. Carbon-based compounds and other volatiles have been detected, confirming that these jets are gas-driven, not just dust plumes. Gas expansion carries far more energy, allowing jets to remain coherent over extreme distances, and the inferred production rates are staggering. Even conservative estimates suggest that 3i Atlas is shedding material at levels that are difficult to reconcile with its estimated size and mass. For an object believed to be roughly a mile wide, this level of sustained activity is extraordinary. The chemical mix also tells us something important. Some of the detected gases sublimate at very low temperatures, meaning they can drive activity far from the sun. Others require more heat. That combination suggests that activity is not limited to a thin surface layer. It may involve deeper reservoirs being exposed over time. That raises the possibility of internal cracking, structural stress, or progressive fragmentation. But once again, the images complicate that explanation. Fragmentation usually produces chaotic debris fields. What we see here is organized directional flow. There's also the matter of persistence. After closest approach, activity should decline. Solar energy decreases. Gas production slows. Jets weaken. Yet the confirmed jets of 3i Atlas remain active well beyond that point. Some appear stable. Others vary in intensity, suggesting multiple active regions operating simultaneously. Orientation adds another layer of complexity. Some jets align with the object's rotation. Others do not. This implies a heterogeneous structure with multiple volatile-rich regions responding differently to solar heating. And remember, this is an interstellar object. 3i Atlas did not form in our solar system. Its composition, structure, and thermal history are almost certainly different from typical comets. Billions of years in interstellar space could have altered its chemistry in ways we've never directly observed before. Even so, the behavior remains difficult to model. Combine confirmed jets, measured volatile chemistry, extreme mass loss, sunward features, and a rare retrograde orbit aligned with the ecliptic plane, and 3i Atlas becomes one of the most scientifically challenging objects ever observed in real time. Importantly, none of this suggests danger. 3i Atlas poses no threat to Earth, but scientific importance is not about risk, it's about discovery. Right now this object is acting as a natural experiment, pushing our models to their limits and revealing where assumptions break down. As more Gemini data is analyzed and additional observations come in, scientists will refine production rates, identify additional compounds, and test competing explanations. Some ideas will be ruled out, others will gain support. That's how science advances. But one conclusion is already clear. 3i Atlas is active, the jets are confirmed, the chemistry is real, and the object is still surprising us. Stay tuned, because every new image is bringing us closer to answers we didn't know we were missing.